my beautiful people, it's me, Penny Queen, and I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be about this updo here. Yes, take it in, take in this hairdo. This hairstyle I achieved using the African Pride Black Castor Miracle line, and I can say I am impressed. I know I haven't used African Pride products in a long time time and I am glad I was able to receive these products and to test them out I am uber excited about the results that I received this hairstyle right here is like boom Saturday night vibes brunch she cute or whatever <laughs> So, if you want to see how to achieve this perfect hairstyle, and if you also want to see how I enjoy the products from African Pride's Black Castor Oil Miracle Line, just keep watching. All right, we're going to start on freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. First up, we're going to moisturize the hair with the Prep and Leave-In Moisture Butter. This stuff has shea butter, black castor oil, and wahoba oil. Look how thick it is. That shea butter is amazing. And the oil goes very well with it. This moisture butter is to provide lasting moisture and protect the hair before braided, weaved, or protective styles. Look at the curls with this moisture. I am in love. So after you moisturize your hair with all this goodness, you're going to also do step one again, which is to seal in the moisture with the hair and scalp sealing oil. This stuff is to lock in moisture, soothe the scalp during braided, weaved, or protective styles. So I just applied this stuff to my scalp, my ends, just my hair in general. And this stuff, when I tell you, I love this oil. It had my hair shiny. Amazing. Look at the curls nice and clean and moisturized and sealed all right so we're going to get into this style you're going to part your hair from ear to ear with the section being closest to the top of your head get the line as straight as you possibly can and then we're going to put away the top section and we're going to work solely on the back Step two, I'm going to be using the Extra Hold Braid Lock and Twist Gel. This stuff has a weird smell, only because castor oil has a really weird smell. But look how thick it is. Like, I put my finger in it and it barely dented. And it's super sticky. I was confused on how this was a gel until I used it. Like, look how smooth my hair is. This product is supposed to create part lines, tame frizz, and smooth edges without stickiness. And it does just that. Like the shine is amazing and like the hold is amazing. Do you see how my, it looks like I used like a gel, eco style of gel or something. Cause my hair is super smooth, which is amazing. So we're gonna move on to the front of the hair and you're gonna make a parted section like a roadway a road track i guess you could say it down the middle of your head as such and then you're going to put that small little section away and we're not going to work with that just yet so then on this side you're going to do the same thing you're going to do another roadway on the side of your hair so you have a small section big section small section so here i'm going to use the braided lock and twist gel on the side again for the part since it's supposed to help you create straight parts. Which it definitely does. Like the gel is just, you have to try the gel for yourself. I'm gonna braid this side forward and I'm gonna braid it all the way to the end. And as you can see, when it, when you use this, it elongates your hair. Normally if I was to use a gel, it probably would have shrunken by now. And I'm gonna use the gel again and I'm gonna go around the perimeter like look how my hair stay in place with this stuff this stuff is no joke you put it in a ponytail and you twist it all the way to the end and so, look at that long twist so you're going to do the same thing to the other side. So you should have a total of two braids and two little twists. So here we're going to do triangle parts going up the rail 
strip. <laughs> Not the real strip. What did I just say? What is the strip called? What I call the strip? A landing strip. <laughs> so we're going to do triangle parts up the landing strip as such. I did a total of three and I put them away so that I can have an idea of how big the spacing areas are going to be. So then you add rubber bands to the base of each triangle section that you did and connect them in a row like this. I know I use blue rubber bands because I had no more black ones, but that's okay. You know, you're just going to cover up, cover it up later. So I should be all right. So we're going to put the landing strip away and connect it to the ponytail and let's get started on the good part. So you're gonna take your crochet needle and get some old crochet hair that I know you have laying around. As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, you should never throw away your old hair because you never know when you can use it. So look at this old crochet hair. I'm crocheting it into the ponytail. So this part does not have to be perfect because I'm gonna be making a bun. You just stick the crochet needle anywhere you see where there's a hole and put the hair. I do not put the hair like super tight and type away. All I do is put it in, loop it through twice, and there it is. So it's easy to come out. I'm using pretty thick sections, not super small sections and not really big sections because then it will really fall out. So you just do them in medium sized section, about finger size. And you're also going to go around the perimeter of the ponytail, like into the braided area, if you know what I mean. Like you, your hair is smooth. You're also going to put crochet hair around it as well. And then you just put the hair in. You add as many as your heart desire. If you wanted it to be fuller than this, you can add more crochet. But this, I wanted a natural looking little bun. So I'm taking one of those to connect this. You're going to crisscross this. Now you don't have to add bobby pins, but mine's for some reason were not staying, so I added bobby pins. So here I decided to add a little bit of blonde because you see I have those two blonde pieces in the front and I didn't want it to be thrown off like it was two blonde pieces just there. So I added some blonde in my bun and then added my jewels. See, I told you I was going to cover up the blue. <laughs> and here you have it. Now you could just keep messing with your bun to make it to the size or the look you're looking for. Now I did not add a rubber band to the end of the bun because it was secured with the hair by itself. Step three, you are to hold and cover the edges with edge control in the color black. Look how thick it is, it's like charcoal. It threw me off because I've never used colored edge control before, but it does look kind of thick as you can see, which is not too bad. It actually makes my edges look a little thick. So here I had all, I swooped my edges after adding the edge control and I see a difference and then I don't see a difference. Like it did make my swoops a little bit darker as you can see, but I guess after you comb it, it doesn't really stay long. So I'm not sure why it has to be black, but you can see a little bit of a difference. So we're going to move on to step four, which they said to tie it down. Use your African pride satin scarf to tie down edges and protect at night. This off, I enjoyed this scarf. It was really silky. All right, guys, you've reached the end of this video. And as you can see, my hair is tied down for the night. Okay, that was one of the steps that I mentioned in the video. And I am still tied down, ready for the next day. I enjoyed using the African Pride Black Castor Miracle line. I'm not sure why everybody put Miracle. I guess these are like Miracle products or whatever but I enjoy this line a whole lot I can see me using this for future protective styles to come especially my favorite product of the line which is the braid lock and twist gel you know you always have that one product in a line that you just love so much and that is this product here this product is the moisture on it is almost like having a blue magic grease 
for natural hair without all the petroleums like you have to try this sis I'm telling you get it all right so you saw the tutorial I explained it all for you I showed you all the glorious products that I received I hope this tutorial was easy to follow as usual so this is the end you know what time it is it's time to hit that like button that subscribe button and comment below see you in the next one